Well, I'm very proud and excited to announce that the William Wallace letter is now returned to Scotland and it will go on exhibition along with the famous Lubeck letter that William Wallace himself wrote and that will go on display in the Scottish Parliament uh, between the 10th and the 31st of August this year. It's very rare, it's very precious, uh, both in the nature of the document but also in the resonance and what it means to the Scottish people. It's one of the few artefacts and documents that are associated with William Wallace that still exist. Since 1305, when it was taken from Wallace, when it was captured, it's been locked away and the public have never really got a chance to see it. And I'm, I'm quite, quite humbled actually to be one of the first people to have laid eyes on it since that time. Well, many people for many years have wanted to see the return of this letter to Scotland. And I'd like to thank the archives in Kew, uh, working with the National uh, Records of Scotland to make sure that we can bring the document back. But in particular, the Society of William Wallace have been uh, campaigning and they petitioned the Parliament. And I decided in the beginning of uh, 2010 to bring together some experts, archivists and medieval historians to look at the provenance of this document to find out what, why would be the connections with William Wallace. The things that we established categorically were, this is a French, original French document, it's, it's clearly from, issued from the, the, the French Royal Chancery. The letter forms used are those typical of the 1290s in the French, in, in the French Royal Chancery. Um, and it's also, the other thing that we concluded, although we're not, we were less certain about this, was the document is likely to have been in Wallace's possession. The thing that is tantalising, however, is that we do not know exactly what the business that the document refers to was about. It instructs the agents of the French king in Rome to help Sir William Wallace in business he has with His Holiness the Pope, but it doesn't say what that business is, and that's where the great enigma lies. We do not know exactly what this document is about. Anybody interested in Scotland's history or heritage knows how important this letter is, and it's a direct link with Wallace himself which are there very, very few left. And it's, it, it makes people think, you know, this was a thing that Wallace had. This is a thing that Wallace touched. And it's a direct connection.